Well, now the story that's been breaking all afternoon. Classified documents have been found in former Vice President Mike Pence's home in Carmel. Those records are now in the hands of the FBI. We have team coverage tonight. Let's start in Hamilton County with government reporter Garrett Burquist. Good afternoon. I'm right outside the neighborhood where former Vice President Mike Pence bought a home in May of 2021. That was about four months after he left office. State police have blocked the driveway throughout the afternoon. Here's what we know. Pence reportedly asked a lawyer to go through four boxes of documents out of an abundance of caution. The lawyer found about a dozen documents with classified markings. Agents from the FBI field office here in Indianapolis then picked them up. A representative told the National Archives Pence was not aware of the documents before they were found. Officials also searched Pence's office in Washington. They did not find any additional documents there. In a letter to the National Archives shared with the AP, Pence's lawyer Greg Jacobs says Pence understands the, the high importance of protecting sensitive and classified information and stands ready and willing to cooperate fully with the National Archives and any appropriate inquiry. The federal government has several layers of classification. We do not know yet at what level the documents recovered from Pence's home are classified. I've asked the Department of Justice for further details. They have not returned my request for comment. The National Archives is the custodian of all former presidential and vice presidential records. They turned down my request for comment. Live in Hamilton County, Garrett Bergquist, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Garrett, thank you. Let's turn now to IT mates Richard Essex. That this discovery, Richard, comes after Pence has repeatedly said that he did not have any classified documents in his possession. Well, he's been very vocal about that. Documents from the White House. And he criticized his former boss, President Trump, on NBC's Meet the Press for his handling of classified documents. In an interview with NBC's Meet the Press, the former Indiana governor and vice president of the United States, Mike Pence, was asked about former President Donald Trump's keeping classified documents at his home. And clearly possessing cl classified documents in an unprotected area is not proper. But I have to tell you, I was on the Judiciary Committee for 10 years in the House of Representatives. I, I know how the, ju the Justice Department works. Pence has described in detail how he dealt with highly classified information while serving as vice president. The documents were brought to the vice president's residence. He then read them, and then the documents were destroyed. This could be a, a situation, as we're, as we're quickly learning, uh, in how these documents are stored uh, when they leave the White House, when a president or a vice president leaves the White House, and where they go from there. So... There, I know that a uh, number of my colleagues are looking into legislation to clarify how classified documents are handled and stored in the White House and what is done at the end of a presidential term uh, when they're handed off. Pence has been critical of the Justice Department and the Biden administration for essentially weaponizing parts of the government. The United States government creates close to 50 million classified documents every year. I ask Asifin Lupin of the Indiana University School of Law if the government is keeping too many secrets. The answer is 100 percent. And so um, at any given moment, um, there are thousands of classifications happening uh, within our federal government and the government just can't keep track of it all. We have an overclassification problem in America, and the results of that is that we're not declassifying quickly enough, and that we're not setting standards on what needs to be classified and in what ways. And the incentive structure for those who classify is to overclassify. Congressman Banks told me that Congress needs to take a real serious look at how documents that were removed by the, by the former president and vice president were taken to their house, how they were viewed, where they were stored, and who had access to them. In the newsroom, Richard Essex, Wish TV, IT Mate.